well, I think this is one of the most um, chaotic videos I've done so far, probably because I'm really busy at work uh, and I'm trying also to, you know, make the content a bit better. I don't know if I'm doing a crap job of that at the minute, to be honest. Um, I did see one video of a guy said no edits, no, um, you know, polishing or anything. I, I feel like I'm getting that way. Um, as you'll have seen from the intro, we want to create this beautiful garden. Um, the ground's been really hard. It's absolutely pissing it down right now. I don't know why it's, I don't know, half past five, quarter to six. I thought I'd better get out and do something. So me and Hugo are out in the absolutely uh, pissing down rain. And we're going to do a bit of digging on here and see how we get on. So uh, come back in a little while and hopefully all of this around here might be ready to put some flowers in it by the weekend. So uh, see you in a bit. In this episode, we're going to take a look at some uh, garden design. We've lived in the rectory for over two years now, so we've got a really good idea of what grows all around the garden, what comes up different times of the year, and we also know what parts of the garden don't do really well. Um, so in this particular episode, there's a part of the garden where we've never really had any success with things growing. I've got a really good idea of what we could do here. Um, having stolen some ideas from Goldsborough Hall, um, which I visited a couple of weeks ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this part that looks like this and turn it into this. So let's have a look at the plan. We've got some drone footage and we're going to get cracking with it. So, based on what you've just seen, we're going to recreate that here with um, some lupins, big displays of alliums, big displays of foxgloves, um, all down here. All of this needs um, digging out and we're going to weed, weed the lot. We're going to keep uh, these, there's two foxgloves here, there's one here um, and another foxglove over there that we're going to keep. Um, so we're going to get cracking with that straight away. This is what happens when you do a bit of digging. Boogie! 
You go. Oi. What are you doing? Right, that's uh, me done for now. We've uh, pretty much cleared all of that, as you can see. And uh, it's uh, time to uh, time to go in and get a cup of tea and something to eat. I'm absolutely knackered, and this is harder than I thought. There's lesson number I don't know, four or five. Well, this episode of Garden Design has taken a bit of time to put together. One thing I've learned is you need a plan, <laughs> really. I've got an idea in my head of what I want to do, uh, which included doing things like the foxgloves and the alliums at the back and add this vision that it would be amazing, it'd be really quick to do, and it's just turned out to be a real disaster. Why? Because uh, we decided to put this uh, pergola up and some decking down, which we haven't done. As I can kind of come down here, you can see it's not finished yet because we haven't got all of the bits uh, to do that, but it'll look good when it's done. This is the sunniest part of the of the garden at the end of the day, so it'll be nice here and we'll have a load of plants around here. At the back where we were gonna put, or where we are putting the uh, foxgloves and, and things like that, well, the, you know, it hasn't rained for days and days it's been red hot which means that the ground is rock hard can't dig it can't get any of the weeds that are there out or even some of the plants that are there to take out and probably move them or put anything in can't do that either so what have i learned need a plan need a drawing uh need to factor in time and so the next episode what we'll show is the finished article on here um and also some progress at the back what we did do though is we did plant some fox clubs fresh ones see and they're coming out as seed so that'd be great and the alliums not the alliums the um lupins um are doing really well they'll go in there as well so we're getting there so come back come and watch me do some more um crazy stuff um if you've got any comments, any ideas for garden design, put them in the comments. Um, if you like what you see, follow me um, if you're interested. Thanks for the 60 odd people that do follow me. Um, but if you'd like to follow, that'd be great. So um, we'll see you soon.